Hi, this is the Nary, and I am back with mainly a Neo-Kyo haul, but also a small little mail haul that I'm going to put in there, or else this pile is going to be waiting for a long while for me to go through. Well, kind of technically already have, but for a haul video, you know. So, I am going to first off open this up, and then we can start going through everything. Okay. Oof. Oh, I keep on forgetting. They like to tape these down, which is a smart move. Hopefully I have not doxxed myself. <laughs> I will have to edit just to make sure. Uh... Okay. Almost there. Okay. Got a lot of CDs this time around. Um, so yeah, let's go into these bigger things. I got more Wink Up magazines. Um, this is basically what is the actual yeah hyper visual magazine for girls. It. It's mostly going to be Johnny's and Stardo, or Johnny's now known as Stardo, um, groups in here, but it does have some other stuff. I'm trying to have a full collection um, out of all the magazines that are like this, because there's a few others, like a duet. Um, what are the other big ones? I believe Popolo, if I'm remembering that name right. I know there's like another major one, but I can't think of it, but out of them all, Wink Up is the one I prefer, so I'm trying to collect as many as I can. So I have those three for that collection. Um, let's see, to next largest size, I found someone selling a limited edition of Ride the Vibe. Pretty cheap. So I decided to go ahead and pick it up. And see what my luck would bring me. Did not want know why they put it in plastic. Seeing as it comes wrapped in plastic, being new and all. Okay. Oh, that and I also wanted an extra copy so I could use the uh, booklet to start creating some uh, collages with it. And since, of course, the limited edition has both um, concepts, I figured that would be the best one to grab. Get where cards are. Oh, <laughs> the sticker is going in with the CD here. That's right. They actually put them in, in here, right? Oh my 
my gosh. It has not been that long. It's in this one. That's right. This is the booklet that has it. All right, and we pulled... Oh my gosh, we pulled Santa's postcard. He's my bias. So, and the last time, or the uh, other one I unboxed, I pulled Haru's, who is my second bias. So, oh my gosh, how lucky. And I know it has a name on the back of this one. This is the individual card. And we got, oh my gosh. <laughs> Speaking of Haru, hello. Oh no, we don't have a name. It's I'm thinking of another another one. So we have Haru's. <laughs> Though I think in here I have like a set of Haru's car, which I'm pretty sure has this in it. Oh well. That just means I get to rehome. And oh my gosh, yes! We got the U and the Sogon. Or gone. <laughs> Unit card. Which would be the only one I I would need. Because again, like I mentioned, I got kind of a set of Haru's card and it came with his unit card. So that means I have all three of those. Yes. We got some straight kids because I was finishing up Rockstar with this one. Ah. Another version of this album, which I don't need. Um, got a copy of Social Pass. Which I don't believe I need either. I had to double check. But I got these because of the cards. So. little booklet that comes with that oh I got little bonuses how cute oh my gosh skazoo oh my gosh that is so cute let's see Pachaco. Oh, cinnamon roll. What is this? Oh, my melody and cinnamon roll. I guess these are all hill. Oh, so cute. They're like cardstock, but so small. <laughs> but yes, I got this primarily because it had Hans' uh, photo card for this version. And he was one of the ones I was missing. Get my little card pile set up. Well, there we go. <laughs> and it also came with this HMV card, which is a unit card, which I just thought was kind of nifty and wanted it especially since I can like put it in between or in the middle of like an eight pocket or one of my eight uh, collections to kind of have a nine <laughs> pocket page of Stray Kids. Oh they tape this up good. This is another thing where I mainly got it for the cards that are going to be in here. Though I didn't have all three versions of a Step in a Step, so I will now. So it's all three of the of the non with you versions. Still in very good condition. No surprise there. 
usually things secondhand and used that you can get from Japan typically are in pretty good condition, so. All right, the main reason I got it was actually mostly for this unit card because this was the one unit card that I needed for this, but it also came with the two of Ayaka's cards and I needed those too. So that was just perfect. Um, then we have a CD, which I purchased because I like this artist, Crystal K. She's one of my favorite J-pop artists. But for some reason, once she left Sony and went to uh, LDH, they stopped putting her stuff up on like iTunes worldwide. So it's like, I finally just got sick of waiting to see if they would ever put her later stuff up and bought this. This actually came out a while ago. But now I finally have it. So happy. And it's so frustrating because Crystal K, she has, you know, kind of a built in international audience. So it's like, why are you not letting her, sell her stuff be available internationally? She has the fans out there waiting for it. And this is the Haru set that I was talking about. Don't need everything here. Like, I pulled this Haru. Ah! But I did not pull this Haru postcard. I pulled the Seita for it. But I was saying uh, this one came with his unit card for the limited edition. So, we have that. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, I now have a dupe of this, but that's okay. That can, can just be rehomed. I'm sure there will be somebody who will need it for their collection. And these two should just be his regular edition cards. But I found it for a pretty good price, so I cannot complain. All right. <laughs> And these pages I have been waiting for. This is for my Oda Sakura collection that I'm moving into a smaller binder on its own. Oh my gosh. Should be 30 which should be plenty for what I need for her um, yeah so happy to finally have those and I can finally move her collection into that binder that I got for her uh, let's see we have this pile of CDs And I wasn't wanting to get all of these, but for the ones that I wanted, I pretty much, you know, kind of had to get the rest. And I have a feeling the reason why it was also cheap was because of the fact that it's a mix of different artists. Um, I'm not into the 46 groups. I don't even know which one this one is. So I will probably sell the off and I think they had another yeah so I'll probably just go ahead and sell these off and hopefully somebody can give them a new home um, but yes it has a sexy zone and I don't have this single um, so glad to have this one now one of the main reasons I wanted it was to get uh, this single for News. News is like 
my alt of alts <laughs> when it comes to boy groups um, from anywhere. And this is, yeah, their latest single and one of their versions. So I was actually looking for, um, for what I could find for this. There are like three other versions. But I think one of them is just like a different cover, so I don't care about getting that one, but there are two others that I want. This is one of them, but the reason I got this set was not because it just included that, but also because it has this, which is one of uh, the limited editions for Muse Expo, which is one of their albums. Um, and yes. So this one has um, their, their video for different lives, which is, yeah, and the making of also their performances at Met Rock 2023 in Tokyo. It also has the live, uh, live versions of uh, that performance on a CD. So I saw that and it was a pretty good price considering everything else it came with, which is why I got that entire set. <laughs> well, that and again, like I said, it also had that. <sighs> the joys of living near a road. <laughs> but yes, um, then moving on to the last. CD. And this is more Sexy Zone. I haven't gotten much of their like more recent releases, so this is more or less catching up. I uh, bought this mainly because it came with cards. Yes. Came with these group cards and also it was very cheap, so Figured might as well go ahead, pick it up, and then I'm good for that. Um, so everything else is going to be basically cards. Let me go ahead and go through the mail I've gotten, which most, or I think basically all of these are purchases from Makari USA. Um, this is the first. As you can see, this is the Lily uh, Target version that I needed. Um, sorry, I'm gonna bring it over here to see if I can open it without actually tearing it. I don't wanna tear this bag. There has to be a way. Oh, now I see it. There's an opening at the very top. <laughs> That's what I was missing. Because <laughs> it's like, there's no way that they were able to like factory seal this <laughs> after they put the card in. Oh, we got some freebies that we'll be looking at after we take up the card itself. But yes, at this moment, I just need to get Jiwoo's and Kyujin's, and I am all set for the Target cards, which is perfect, seeing as they've just announced uh, their next comeback. And I want to be done with Break before that releases. Or at least have everything bought for Break, much like with Stray Kids. Have I didn't have everything in by the time eight released I at least had everything purchased okay so lots of stickers oh my gosh that is so cute I love cats oh a little Lily Lomo cute okay and 
these purchases were separate but they're all from the same seller and this is for ended up being two Mayaka cards these are both from their first album you freebies as well. That is free the card. Oh wow. Triple sleeved. So there is that one. And the goodies. Twice. Oh! <laughs> Got Santa's uh, Taste of Love card. I recognize who this is. And stickers and a little like styrofoam star. Oh, and also with that one, it came with this postcard, which uh with Neo Wing, it means that this was a pre-order benefit for CD Japan because their Japanese name is Neo Wing. They uh, are only CD Japan internationally. So if you see anything Neo Wing, that is CD Japan. And this is the other Mayuka that I got. Ah. Which again is also from the U album. Yay! So I only need one more uh, card for her for that album, and I'll be set. And we got more random freebies. <laughs> Need to cut this one open. Oh, come on. There we go. So, random stickers. 17 card. Oh, and Kepler. That's Hikaru, isn't it? I think so. Um, and let's see. Yes, next I got the last uh, Weaver's group card that I needed. Visible tape there. <laughs> but yes, I just need two more U or Euro hot cards, which I have purchased and they'll be coming in my next haul, which is going to be from Bai. So that's that one. And this is the freebies that I came with. Lots and lots of stickers. Oh. Ah, Kasaha. Don't know GI or Idol that well. New jeans and I. Cute slow mos. All right, and. I was working on my Stacy collection. So I got a couple of ISA cards here. This is the first. Ah, 
Here we go. Let's get this one. And then we have this one and ah, the stickers are everywhere. This one came with freebies. cards to add to that collection uh, let's see one more trading card I went ahead and picked up Taehyung's Target that's the nice thing about buying Taehyung is that these cards are not that expensive so it's not that bad if you need to buy them so making small progress for tomorrow for him. All right. You know what? Speaking of Taehyung, let's go ahead and move on to or forget how all these are kind of taped up top. But as you can see, these are cards for free fall. And these are the last two that I need to finish up or should be. I totally screwed things up. And we do have some more Taehyun. Or Taehyun. <laughs> we can get it out of here. Okay. Give me a moment to figure out how best to open this. It goes like this. Okay. And then we could separate the card. Yeah, I'll just keep this in there for now. But I came with his sticker set as well. And I at least got his romantic version card. Oh, wait. I forgot, I did also get the Soyeon um, postcard that I was missing for break. So I now have both of hers. And I'll just keep it in there. Now everything else should just be cards. Oh, this comes with a lot. One more than I was expecting. So I got these, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to open these to, I know they're L holders, but I'm just trying to figure out how many. Okay. <laughs> we need to plan for our life. No, there's no idol I need to do that with. You're always going to be my love. The main thing is to be happy. Superstar love you. Oh my gosh, that's actually kind of cute. Yeah, I definitely like this one better. <laughs> but no, uh, all I was expecting were these two. Um, and these are the two group cards that I needed for for you that I didn't have. So I'm now complete for the group cards for that album. So it's nice to have progress made there. And we got more, more tape cuts. It's 
want to do it off screen so I can focus better and hopefully not damage anything. Come on. Here's the top of this. Or maybe this opens completely different than that. Maybe it isn't tape. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm not going to be fighting with plastic for that long. I'm just cutting the side. <laughs> so we can free these J cards. All right. They're free now. So I've got a couple of J cards. So again, just continuing with Stacy there. And of course they did a Tsurugaya sale. And I got one of Riku's coconut cards from there. And I did get a few stray kids. I got one Daikon card for Lino and one for Chan. And I made sure they were the orange backs so then that way I could put them with the ones that I do already have for them and they could spell out Stray Kids. And then and then they're both one card. Oh! one card away each from like being able to do an eight pattern of that for the, the both of them for the one little page of non-album cards I have for them. Ah yes. One of the cards I used one of the promos for Macarion make her a little less expensive but this is the poster card for Soyun. Difficult to track down. Very glad I finally have it for her. Oh I got some freebies with this one. So I've got some random stickers when I bought this Hyunjin. So I now have his card for that. Oh, that's right. This is a set of coconut cards mainly bought it for this one uh, because this one is hard to find and very expensive. In fact, basically what I paid for this entire set was just slightly more expensive than what I had been finding this card on its own for. <laughs> That's what the pricing was. So of course I got the set. These two I need. This one is a dupe. These these three are with you cards so while i'm not collecting with you technically i'll still keep them because i have them <laughs> so they're just extra cards that i have because with with you cards if i happen to get them then i i will just happen to keep them <laughs> All right. And we have another pack of cards for New to You. This is for their album You. Oh, okay. I was wondering why it's I didn't quite feel right, and that's because these are actually all sleeved. I'm not going to bother on sleeving them all. Um
but yes, this is what the back of them all look like. And if they look hollow, that is the sleeve that they're in. So the usual Mako, Ryo, Maya, Riku, Ayaka, Mayaka. <laughs> Matching that card there. Yima, Mihi, and Nina. So I got another set of nine of those. This is another set of cards I got. And I got these because I needed the other Riku and this was basically one of the few ways I was actually able to find it. Oh, and these are all individually sleeved. I think I will keep Really, people keep them in their sleeves so okay this is one of the with you cards that I'm just gonna be keeping I know I already have this one I'm pretty sure I already have this paradise these are from the Korean album which I have this is the card I really bought the entire set for This card I do need. This is probably another with you. Yeah, if it's written in yellow like that, it's a with you card when it comes to Blue Moon. And these two I needed for Paradise as well. So I did get more than just the one card <laughs> out of that one. And I guess we're moving on to more sets. And I found a Lino set, which was great because it had some of these cards that on their own, <laughs> they were very pricey, but together, for some reason, they were a lot cheaper. Um, so yeah, got those Miro, this Yellowwood. I know I already have this Levanter. I do not have this Levanter. And this is a season's greetings. I'm probably not gonna hold on to that one though. I don't wanna be hunting down <laughs> charms um, because whatever I get for Lino extra, I get for Chan extra. Um, so that one I will probably either trade or sell. And we do have some twice. Finally picked up this formula of love. That's the last ID card I needed. And speaking of the last card I needed for a nine set for formula of love, this message card for Nyon will be the finishing card for that OT9 set. Oh, and we are back to Gaia. Got this Maya because I'm sick and tired of seeing um, Nina be the only card on the page for this. So this is the Maya that will match that Nina. Uh, and I was like, ah. Okay, and we have another unit card, or not unit card, but a group card for Niji Yu. Uh, this is one of the two that I needed. I don't have the second one in here, but I'm just happy to have it. I needed to make some progress on those, so there is that. Oh, come on. That is washi tape. It should tear easily. Get off. All right, I'm gonna have to cut this. <laughs> My lack of nails is hindering me. But 
This is one of the Anne Mare uh, sewing carts I got and I love it. It's kind of hard to tell but like under her eye she has like I'm not sure if they're jewels or something sparkly that's just so pretty. So got that. Uh, all right, and this is going to be the last of the Rockstar cards that I needed. And that is the Felix from that set. So that set is now complete. This is another unit card, this time for step and a step. Oh. And then for TXT, what I decided to do is get like, this is a full set of Weaver's full unit cards for both Freefall and Tomorrow. So I've got all of those. A couple of the freefall ones I don't need. They will just, they will find a new home. <laughs> I'm sure somebody will need them. Uh, ooh, more tape on the top. Why? Okay, and this is the Haywan. Uh, from the limited edition version. So I have that one now to go with the Solyun. I just need to get the other four members and which is what I'm planning to do on my next Neo Kyo haul. So then that's all taken care of. Um, yes. I think all I need beyond that is like some uh, Solyon cards for the regular edition. One of the regular editions that I'm missing for her. Okay, and then we're back to Nijiyu. Um, pretty sure I don't have this. Yeah, I think for all these, I basically got it because it has two of her cards for you. That one's just a bonus, but hey, I need it, so I have no problem taking it. Ah. Okay, and then we have a Mihi set. This is, I believe, yeah, step in a step. And then, why am I blanking on this one? Take a picture. So it has two of her take a picture cards, one of her step and a step. Right, and then it has this bonus. Ah. Oh, okay, so this is just a wrapper card. I think it's for the for this, which I don't need, but yeah, I'll hang on to it. Yeah, it has to be for this. Yeah, for Light It Up, they had these random message cards for each member. That's right, I only need one of those Solyun cards. <laughs> now that I'm opening this, um, I need her other card from this uh, set. And then I'm done with all of Solyun's albums of cards. But I got that in a set. You know what? I'm not gonna fight with this, but it came with a couple of pops, both from A Midsummer and Mix's Dream. This is one. And this, oh wait, this Everline one I can actually take out. <laughs> But yes, this Everline, I just happened to be looking, noticed that, you know, it came with pops and it's like, hey, I'm going to need those pops eventually. So 
<laughs> Might as well grab them while I can. All right, and then we got more twice. Don't really need this Jungyeon, but I did need these two. So I got the set for it. So I have her lenticular for Taste of Love and I have this Fancy card, which was one of my OT9 sets for Fancy. And then finally we are on our last card. And it's is another Soyon Pob from Ed Mare, and this is the hologram or holographic uh, Make Star one. Yeah. So, actually, with those two now, I can complete my first nine pocket page of Soyon Pobs for Ed Mare. So, that is awesome. Um, but yeah, made a a lot of good progress. Like I mentioned, I'm finishing some things off, getting close to finishing some other things off. Um, and overall, very happy with everything that I got. Um, so, <laughs> I, I totally forgot that we were actually at the release date for I uh, Need to Use uh, Rise Up EP. I don't know why they're calling it an EP. It's a single. Most of the versions only have two songs on it. It is a single. So I don't know why they're they're hyping it up to be an extended play. Only one version has like <laughs> multiple tracks really uh, beyond the two. But in any case, that's released. So that is probably going to be a lot of my new to you coming up just trying to get as much as I can as soon as I can so that way I'm not stuck like I am kind of like with coconut trying to hunt everything down. So I'm very close to finishing up with coconut so there is the plus there. And again with this I finish up Rockstar which is great because I need, now need to turn my attention to eight and making sure I finish all of that. Uh, I also need to be working on Next G because I would like to finish that up, though I am going to have to purchase more of the Nemo versions because I am just not finding uh, Gon's random Nemo card anywhere. Of course, now that I say that, the moment I do purchase them, and if I do manage to pull him, I'm pretty sure he's gonna pop up everywhere. Um, but yeah, other than that, a lot of like smaller progress with all my other collections. Uh, very happy to just keep going and that's probably gonna be what, what the focus is going forward. Like I mentioned, I'm gonna be finishing up. That is my focus for break is just finishing up at least the trading cards. Um, larger inclusions will probably take a little bit longer, but I'll get to them when I get to them. Um, but yeah, so my next haul is going to be with Bai because I decided to pre-order Next G. They have uh, their first one of these, so I bought that. Um, <laughs> I also um, did what I said I was never not going to do anytime soon and got a couple Yahoo auctions, though one of them is K-pop. <laughs> not J-pop, it is K-pop. Lots of uh, K-pop albums, so. It's not, <laughs> it's not that good of an excuse. I'll go into it more once I actually get uh, that in. Um, and I am, like I said, mentioned before, the last two ILEC cards that I need to catch up with their debut release uh, will be coming with that. I'll also gain more Soyeon Pops. Um, and I think that's just about it because I don't want to get too much because Honestly, I had to more or less focus on Stray Kids for eight. 
um, and I will probably be starting up my next Neo Kill haul uh, shortly. So don't want to overextend with what I'm getting for Bai, but I'll have a few things there um, if you're not looking at <laughs> not looking at those auction wins. Because again, it's it's the same seller that puts up these big lots of stuff. Um, but I am just so weak. I've got to make sure I do not do not look. I mean, the stuff I'm getting at least they're kind of for different groups <laughs> than what I was getting before. Not really, because there's news, um, but. Okay, okay. I won't talk about that anymore because that's that's a future me thing that I'm going to be dealing with. Right now, near future me <laughs> needs to get this all focused up uh, so I can get it all ready. So when I am ready to store all my Stray Kids 8 cards, I can store everything else that I'm keeping on here. Yes. And so thank you so much <laughs> for sticking through all of this. Um, and if you're interested in seeing on what I'm gonna be exactly getting with this upcoming buy haul, make sure you subscribe. Um, also with Nmix, I'm definitely gonna do an unboxing. I am also going to try to see if I can pre-order some of Next G's Japanese debut single singles and uh, have that delivered just because it's been forever since I've had something delivered from CD Japan and I kind of miss that. <laughs> and it'll be nice to kind of do an unboxing for that stuff. So I'm gonna try that but up again and mix and their upcoming release is gonna be the main priority. Uh, definitely going to be doing an unboxing once I get those uh, in this upcoming month. And I think that's all for now for new releases um, that will be upcoming. So if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe. And until next time, bye!